Hi, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the add-on click. This is an add-on for doing mouse over macros, which are really useful if you want to use a beneficial ability on another player without having to switch targets. Right, first of all, how we use click. I'm gonna use my little compadre here, Fancy Boat, on my other accounts to demonstrate a few things. So, to access it, we just do slash click. These are the abilities at the moment I have in here. It's not that many at the moment. I transferred my character at the start of the expansion. Haven't really created them all. But what it means is these are the abilities at the moment that if I'm out and about DPS and I've got something else as my target, maybe I target the bear there, I could still, if I wanted, use any of these abilities on Fancy Bow. So if I, for example, wanted to cleanse him, then all I have to do is put my cursor over Fancy Bow's uh, bar in the UI area there, the party area, and if I hit six, it will cleanse him, as opposed to if I do that, it will cleanse the bear, and if I have an enemy targeted or nothing targeted, it will cleanse me. So, fairly straightforward there in terms of using it. Now, in terms of adding things to it, also nice and easy. So there is an important ability for my ret aspect that I don't have at the moment, and that is Flash of Light, my little heel there. So at the moment, I don't have it in click, so if I wanted to Flash of Light, if I use my normal bind for it, it's only going to heal me. If I want to heal Fancy Bow, I had have to target him and then spam a couple of flashes of light like that. But what I want to do, remember, ideally is to keep my target selected and... Um, which is going to be the bear. We're going to pretend the bear's the boss. But still be able to heal Fancy Bear without taking that target off. So all I'm going to do here is to create the bind. Now, the normal bind I use is Alton 3. I don't really want to do that when I'm clicking on somewhere else. It's, it's doable, but it's a bit awkward. I prefer a single button. So another great benefit of this is I can change it. I can decide that my flash of light, when I'm using it on someone else, it's just going to be three as opposed to alt and three. Normally three is my bind for Crusader Strike, a, a, a damage ability. And that's fine when my cursor's elsewhere, that will still work. So I'm going to put my cursor over Flash of Light in my spell book and I'm going to hit three. And what that means is that three will do Flash of Light. Now if I close these down, if I hit three, I can't attack that target, it's friendly because it's trying to do Crusader Strike. But... If I put my cursor over Fancy Bow, it will heal Fancy Bow. So it allows you to have a different bind to normal for when you're going out and about like this. This is particularly useful for when you've got a healing spec. So if I go to Holy, which I haven't at all set up for this expansion yet. Now, of course, Again, when I'm healing, I don't want to be having to use awkward modifiers, but when I'm healing, I'm going to be going around the bars in the UI anyway, the raid UI, party UI, whatever it happens to be. So you can see there, you know, shift and, and three is normally for flash of light, but again, you know, that's what I'm going to use for that. Same with holy lights, it's, it's shift and two really, but what I'm going to suggest is that I put that, where is it? on two. So that means I can just hit two. What this allows me to do is to still have judgment on two like I do on my DPS spec, Crusader Strike on three, because sometimes you're also going to do a bit of DPS even as holy while you're healing. So it allows me when I move my cursor away from the unit frames to be able to use offensive abilities on certain buttons. And then when I move my cursor to someone on one of those frames, it allows me to use the heal version, which is how I set it up, on that same bind. So in terms of why to use the add-on, there are two chief reasons. First of all, yes, you could use mouse over macros for all of these. The facility to do that is in game, but it takes a lot longer to make a mouse over macro for each of these than it does just to click a bind as you open up your spell book with the click tab open. But of course, once you've got it set up, you've got it set up. You could argue, okay, well, you spend a bit of time doing it in advance and what's the problem? 
Well, the other thing is this. For each mouse over macro you make, it's going to occupy a macro slot. Now, we do seem to have had an increased expansion of the macro slots more recently, but nonetheless, it's still taking up macro slots. At some point, we may reach our limit if you're in the habit of making lots of macros, whereas Clique doesn't do that. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share for further content. And also don't forget that I'm gonna be updating a few other add-on videos over the next couple of weeks as well. So don't forget to check those out. And until next time, I'll see you later.